So I didn't find many videos of practical use of Nix and NixOS and I, f I thought it would be quite useful as there are many things and mechanisms and specificities related to Nix and NixOS. So practically I wanted to use a software called EventStore and I found that in the package repository of Nix uh, it was not in a correct version. So that's a good opportunity to move around and do some practical things with NixOS and gain some useful insight. So um, that might go a little fast depending or a little slow depending what, what your level with NixOS but uh, hopefully you can leave some comments and we can go in more details. So we want to see how Nix installs software and we don't want it to be a black box so we're going to have a shell and we're going to look at the different phases that Nix goes through. So first step is to create some directory to, to play with, that's, that's what I did. And then we invoke Nix shell, Nix package, and minus ABC. So Nix shell will recreate, the whole purpose of Nix shell is to recreate the exact same environment that will be um, available when the installation happens. So we, we can be sure that um, we have a exact copy to play with interactively that what will be used. Uh, the first argument to Nix shell is a checkout of Nix package, which is uh, the package repository of Nix. And then we say, okay, among this package repository, which which specific environment that's being specified in, in there um, do you want me to instantiate? And so here, this is library BC, and we, we're gonna want to have it even store. So my checkout is in etc, nixos, nix packages, and that's a checkout of the version 1509, I think. And I say minus a event store. Now, where is that symbol event store defined? Uh, where is that coming from? Um, it's in the default.nix file of that directory etc nixos nix package. Uh, you can see there are there is an import, and so it says you know go to that file all package nix and import everything. So all the symbols defined there, bring them, bringing, bring them up here. Package, uh, top level, and uh, all package. So in that file itself, um, the symbol even store is defined. So when I ask this, it, it will find its way, which eventually calls this directory which contains a default.nix uh, as well no sql even store default and finally in that file we have a nix expression because that's in the nix language but that nix expression defines a nix derivation and a deriva derivation is kind of a recipe for installing software in Nix. So it contains various items and those items and how it interact with the installation procedure of Nix is, is described here. So let, let's just go into this Nix shell first. If we can, Nix packages, all right. So you can see that we're in a different shell now. It's, it's prefixed by Nix shell and not by demo, NixOS, etc. And so in that Nix shell, if I, if I do env, I have lots of environment variables and those will be the same. I have the guarantee that those will be the same as when I, when I ask for even store to derivation to be installed. But obviously it's interactive now. And you can see the, um, the the basic principle of Nix is here. I've defined some some symbol build phase, uh, some some variable, and associated with some strings. So that's that's in a Nix language, and I can interpolate strings. I have many kinds of operation, and if I do and grab uh, build phase, um, 
I can see I have some environment variable, shell environment variable. So the Nix language uh, symbols get translated into shell environment variable. There's a whole process for that translation, which is explained in some uh, in the Nix manual, which I encourage you to to look. But that's that's kind of the basic principle.